up, guys? This is Team Uber Men's here, and this is one of my friends that's joining the team. A new member! My best friend, Ben. Friend. What happened? Okay. So, what, are the, what deck profile are we doing today? So, is it the, uh, the Legion build for uh, Great Nature? The nerds? Yeah, the animal nerds. I just got top four of them. I told you to build this deck yeah. at school every day. I, we, I built it. We both go to FIU together. Yeah, it's, it's a fun. This is the one of the most fun decks I've ever played in this game. Go Panthers! <laughs> oh my god, your avatar great three must be a panther. Stop it. Okay. Oh my god, I'm making so many bad jokes. Uh, started, what does he do? So, um, this is really good. This pencil koala. Koalas are my favorite kind of marsupial. You know they're poisonous, right? I think that's a myth, but I don't know. But they're my favorite marsupial. Um, so I do break one. If this boosts a vanguard that hits, you give something plus 4k, kill it and draw a card. So Kill a friend and draw a friend? Yes, kill a friend and draw a friend. This deck's all about, um... It, draw all power. Of the, yeah, all of the effects seems like, seem like um, you should go even, but you end up plussing off of it if you use the effects properly. Because so like they can stack. You can give, like, a rear guard, like, the power, and then you can end up drawing, like, two cards, yeah, right? Yeah, you can, like, put... Uh, there are multiple cards with these... This kind of effect that say kill it and draw a card you can put multiple of those effects on one card kill it and draw like three cards it's not uncommon to like kill something and draw three uh two or three cards off of it okay it's really good and you do that multiple times a turn and it's the whole deck spells around that not bad making your columns huge killing them and then drawing lots of cards it's like um it just hits hard and draws cards all right really good. so the starter he's, uh you have to run him he's just a common came out in the last set oh, he's the, best one. the other starter is just a great three searcher yeah the other starter is a great and three searcher. the the right chain we don't talk about that. Actually, you want I, actually, to I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be building that deck. It's going to be awful, but I'm going to be building it. It's going to be great. Bad deck Wednesday? Bad deck Wednesday. Be awful. So, uh, your main boss is Big Belly. Uh, in Japanese, his name was Big Berry, like Big Betty. But he's got a big belly. Look at this guy. Yeah, his his lore is hilarious. He ran out of space on his chalkboard, so he started writing on his belly. I love him. He's really good. Um, so his um, stride break skill, when you stride on top of him, counter blast one, give two of your rear guards plus four thousand, and if anything in that column hits, yeah, when its power is over twenty. Uh, you draw a card. Not bad. It hits a Vanguard. Uh, yeah, it's not awful. Uh, it just lets you plus more. Uh, more and more and more and more. And then his G-Break 2 skill is the same as him. Uh, when he attacks, he gives something plus 4k, and at the end of the turn, kill and draw a card. Alright. So, basically, if he's at G-Break 2 and you swing and you hit, you give something plus 8k, and at the end of the turn, you kill it and draw two cards. Not That's bad. like one example of how you plus. Other grade 3? Uh, the other one is the Legion. So, uh, he is... He's such a good card. He's an amazing card. He makes he the other Legion... Printed. He makes the other Legion poop. The other Legion is pretty bad. Game, right? But, uh, this guy's, this guy's amazing. Um, so he's a Persona Blasting Legion, so you pitch him or... Their mate. His mate, yeah. Uh, you pick two of your units, and at the end of the turn... At Thank the end you. of the turn, I'm probably the oldest right someone said shush, and then everybody got quiet. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you Persona Blast him, uh, you pick two of your units, and when they die at the end of the turn, you bring them back, draw one card for each unit, and unflip a damage for a unit, and you can stack his ability. I, why? You can pick two things, kill them at the end of the turn with like his effect or his effect, draw a card for that. Stop it! Then draw a card for his effect, and then unflip like I hope damage. you deck out. He's a legion. You can deck out in legion. Yeah, you still deck out. But uh, I have yet to deck out in this one. I've come close, but I've yet to deck out. So those are the grade threes. Um, he's only a rare, and he's actually very cheap. This deck is very cheap, by the way. For a really good deck. Yeah, this deck is amazing. I would say tier one nearing tier zero for this format. It's really good. I kind of want to give it to Aqua Force. Aqua Force is the best deck. But this can stand up to a period because it has that hand. Then there's Dimensional the Police. Don't forget Dimensional is here one. I mean, if you say so, right? Ah, uh, let's look at the air. Let's look at the, you know, the topping decks right now. <laughs> this deck that just came out. Uh, um, you run. I, I, I just changed this actually just before this video. Three Sleepy Tapirs. I was running four. But he works early so good. He works early really well. But uh, this is not an early deck. You want to. I, I tend to conserve my hand until I hit three. 
Uh, even if I can't strike, I just try to conserve my hand. Uh, so Sleepy Spear is a strictly better version of Monoculus Tiger. Because he has resist. Yeah, because he has resist. So basically, when you swing, give some... Oh, I forgot to mention his second effect. Uh, when you swing with him, give something plus 4k and retire it at the end of the turn. Okay. So that's, I forgot his effect. He does the same thing. When you swing at the Vanguard, um, give something... Give one of your other rear guards plus 4k and at the end of the turn, kill it. And he has resist, so he can't be locked or retired by choose effects or anything like or that. Or spun. Or spun by Gear Chronicle, because that's a deck. You see it, you know. You know, you know the 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 guys that want to be, you know, free wins. Uh, this is the uh, Legion mate. Yeah. For this guy. Um, I run three of him. I was running him at four, but I found that I wanted more grade ones, and I'll explain why later. Um, but yeah, so he says, when he swings, if his power is twenty thousand or more and yeah. hits, draw a card. Okay, not um, bad. Basically, when you attack in this game, uh, let's say like something's boosted. If this boosts, all of his attack goes into him, and yeah. then he attacks. So if he's twenty boosted, it still counts. Yeah. He doesn't have to be twenty by himself. No problem. So um, that's that's a thing. He's uh, he's decent by himself, but he's amazing with the Legion because it's a Persona Blasting yeah. Legion. He just helps to draw like in case you need to draw yeah. early uh, Again, this deck is all about having a huge hand and swinging for large numbers. You don't really get extra crits or anything. This is the MVP of the deck. You mean the deck? This is the deck. Here, this is the entire deck for Files this card here. Uh, G-Break 1. This crayon is the G-Break 1. Yeah, Crayon Tiger. Amazing. When this, it's, it's the Amber Clone of this deck. Cannon Blast 1. Do a thing. Uh, he, he wouldn't be as... He stands a rear guard. He wouldn't yep. be amazing if he did And it gives it 4k. And he gives it, yeah. So he stands a rear guard, gives it plus 4k, and at the end of the turn, you kill it and draw a card. So this, again, stacks with his effect or Big Belly's effect. Yep. And the duck when we get to the duck. Yeah, and the duck. You'll see. The duck is the best. The duck is my favorite. But Cran Tiger is amazing. Um, I was running him at three for a little bit. No, four. He's a staple. I, I know. That's why he's at four now. I told you. If really. you have two columns with him, with uh, both of them boosted, it is. You get like six attacks, and then you draw four cards at the end. It's stupid. This deck is dumb. I'll show a couple combos at the end, I guess. Yeah. No, I won't show any combos. No. I won't show any combos. You guys should figure it out. You'll see it through the video, guys. Oh yeah, that's right. So um, this is the guys. Uh, this is the booster I just put in. He's I told you to put him in. Told you. No, you didn't. Gerald told me to put them in. You don't listen to me, Ben. I don't listen to you at all. Nobody listens to Brian. He plays Kadra. What? I play um, more than. So he's really good at G break one when you play him, you pick one of your other rear guards. Um, and when that rear guard is retired at the end of the turn, um, if I'm oh, sorry. I'm thinking of the wrong cards. <laughs> when he attacks, you pick one of your other rear guards. Uh, when he attacks a vanguard, if he hits, at the end of the battle, if he attacks a vanguard, his power is 20,000 or greater, you soul charge one and unflip a damage. Yeah, so yep. it doesn't even need a hit, so he's good. So you, like, uh, you would give something, like, you, you play your grade threes in the region. You give him that, uh, if he swings for over 20, uh, you soul charge one, unflip. He works really well with Taper Cat, um, which I currently have in the mail. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to run him, but... Uh, he'll blast two and draw a card. Yeah, he just came out. You were here, you were here. You didn't order yet. Yeah, so... Um, then I'm running two of the vanilla 8Ks. You were here, you were here, you were here, you were here. Yeah, I'm running two of the vanilla AKs. Sorry about that, Timmy. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'm running two of the vanilla AKs. Uh, it's really good if you're because going Because you first. can make 21 columns. Yeah, it's not just the 21 columns. If you're going first to find, it uh, throws off a lot of decks if you run an 8K. Because then you can guard like 5Ks for all their attacks. Which really helps early on when you want to hold that defense. So or you, or you can give him a 10 for no pass for the Vanguard. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I may drop him, but I do like him a lot. I may drop him for a fourth duck and one of those cats we were just talking about. All right. Um, so then we have the new perfect guards. Um, they finally got perfect guards in set seven. Yeah, the other ones are really expensive for no reason, and these uh, are better, mainly because they're tortoises. Um... Like, like, well, also because of the unflip. Uh, also the unflip, but mainly because they're tortoises. Um, yeah, they're the regular unflipping. You usually kill your rear guards, and you care more about your vanguard than anything, so he's good. Triggers? Uh, hold on. Uh, so, also great ones? Yeah, we missed the ducks. I'm running a lot of great ones. Uh, so here are the ducks. Uh, the ducks say when you play it, pick one of your rear guards. When it dies, draw a card. So it stacks with koala yep. and big belly. Um, you mean the eight dollar rare? Uh, he's only five. I remember when he was. He's only 
Tango Five, Tango with eight. No, he's only five bucks. Um, I'm running three, which is a great number. I see him when I need to see him, and I don't see him too much. I'm going to try him at four just to see what happens. All right. But three is a great number. From, my, uh, from all the games I played, three works really well. And then I'm running four of the Stride Neighbors. Um, yeah, you need them because it's a Stride deck. Yeah. I just also want to point out how um, he's Mini Belly. And the, the the stride boss is Big Belly. Wow. Is he really named called Mini Belly? His no. name is Mini Belly. <laughs> it's amazing. That's the reason I decided to build this deck. I'm done. Mini Belly, I'm done. It's amazing. I'm done. All right, then you better the, uh, not have a trigger that's called a Mid Belly. That would be a great too, first of all. Um, yeah, so the triggers... Um, tri or Baby Belly. You actually call your triggers a lot in this deck because you want to you want to bump things up to retire them. So you will end up calling your triggers a lot in this deck. So uh, we're going to run eight crits. So we have four Ruler Chameleons. You're welcome. When Yeah, thanks. He, Brian gave me these. Uh, I told him to run these. When and he's like... No. I didn't understand why they were so good, and then I played this deck. Um, when they get retired, at the end of your turn, counterbust one and search your deck for another one. He's basically a free... You, you know, so you he helps for Legion. He helps for Legion a lot. Um, you, you play him, you kill him, you draw... You would search for one of them, and then you would draw off of effects like... He was just really bad like, like during the limit break era, just because, like, why would you want to lose a crit from your deck? Yeah. But, like, now with Legion, like, it's not bad, because you can put him yeah, back. Legion can put him back. Um, yeah, yeah, and you hold your hand. It helps maintain hand advantage. Then we run four vanilla crits. Uh, I hate this artwork. I also hate the snake. Apparently there's a, there's a raccoon one or something? Yes. Yeah, there's a raccoon one that I'm going to pick up. Uh, then we run this adorable... Oh, thank God. Thank God. Trigger. People, my friend Peter, he played his 16 triggers with no heal triggers. You know why? Because he did not like the GOAT. If you're still playing the GOAT, please, go to your locals, buy some packs, or ask somebody, buy these, look at this, look at this buddy, it's adorable. This is one of the best heal triggers in the game. People look at it and they, they, because again, you, you call your hero triggers and you bump them up. People, people won't want to, Like, I, I hate the goats, so ugly. They're really good. The goats are ugly. Um, now this is the runner-up MVP for the deck, actually. Oh! Yeah, oh. you'd be surprised. Cast in at Donkey. You're welcome. Uh, he's just the generic, put him in the soul, get something plus 3k. Margo clone. Um, he bumps him up to 21. You're welcome, He bumps welcome, so many things up to 21. You're welcome. Um, and you don't, the only thing is you don't soul blast in the deck without taping cat, which is another reason I'm thinking of running taping cat. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a second MVP. He's a must-have in my opinion. You need to run this. You don't necessarily need... Because some people were thinking like 12 crits. No. You don't, like, this This deck's motto is... Oh, see, if you look at OTT, OTT draws a lot of cards, and their motto is, we draw enough cards, let's get some crits. This deck's motto is, we draw a lot of cards, let's draw more cards. You just keep drawing cards in this deck. Um... You can choose not to run Ruler Chameleon because this is a counterblast heavy deck if you're on Big Belly. Yeah. Um, so but if you you're on the Legion, you're good. Yeah, if you're on the Legion, you don't. Exactly everything's free. Um, but it's it's like it's just like you use it when you when when you need to. If not, then just use yeah, it as he, a regular trigger. He comes in handy, but you don't need him. You do need Castanet Donkey, in my opinion. You need him. Now we're gonna move to the Stride deck, the G deck, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we're running four Menegra Murmurs. You mean Judgment Dragon? Yeah, this is Judgment Dragon. Um, he is awkward to use, actually. Why? I like him. Um, because this is a counterblast heavy deck, and the turn you use him, you're probably going to end up using three counterblasts. And he stops your opponent from being able to guard your rear guards with, with grade ones or higher. So he's just kind of awkward to use. He's amazing as a finisher. Like when you see them drive check that perfect guard, you're like, okay, next turn, mana box. You go into him, and you basically bump. He, you counter blast one with him and give two things plus 2k. And when they attack, if their attack is 20,000 or more, they can't be guarded by grade ones or higher. That's a so huge 10k shield. Bump everything up and swing. And um, when you see them drive check that perfect guard, you use this. Uh, we have four in there because. And I hate he's good. freaking Crayon Tiger. Because he'll do it like three yeah, times. Yeah, Tiger restands, uh, can restand something. So you swing. And they with still keep the effect. Ill. Yeah, it's really good. And they also keep crits. So you tag the Vanguard first. It's really good. Then we're running three of this guy. He is amazing. Because he doesn't have to hit. He doesn't have to. Hit. You swing with him, give two things plus four K, and they die at the end of the turn. Um, killing your things in this deck. Plus usually lets you plus. At the very least, you should be going even. If not, you're in a bad position. And so uh, the final starter run is Blizza. He's a staple. Yeah, in this particular deck, Blizza is... Just, so you, just in case you don't draw into another grade three and you're on big belly and you need to use his GB2 skill. Yeah. Um, if you start 
tried if you don't have any of your eight uh, grade threes or your grade one stride enablers. And you want to pitch a grade one, a grade two that's minus. Yeah, you don't want to do that, that's awful. Um, you stride him, uh, counter blast one, flip one, hit your stride deck face up, uh, then your G break two is active immediately. And you can play with this deck with the G break two, and you're just kind of like turtle there. You'll play a grind game. This deck tends to play the grind game, so you'll just kind of go off and swing the big numbers as much as you can, get a huge hand. All right. And then once you like run out of counter blast and your deck calms down, you ride the Legion, you Legion, and then you just kind of swing for moderately large numbers and guard until your opponent loses. Okay. So that's kind of how this deck works. You tend to go with him first, basically explode as much as you can for like two or three turns, ride him, unflip all your damage, and then just kind of sit there and relax with your hand that's like kill them with knowledge this big. Stupid. Yeah, you kill them with knowledge. Your hand's like this big and you're just sitting there guarding everything until they lose. Or so, you deck out. Or you deck out, which you shouldn't. I have yet to deck out. They, they die first. Damn. Or I die first. Yeah. But uh, this is, if you like combo decks, it's the, one of the best combo decks in the game. This game is, this deck, this deck is ridiculously good. And um, it's pretty cheap, so I'd highly recommend picking it up if you want something more fun. That has um, a lot of different plays, play, ways to play it. Alright. That's really good. Alright, and this is guys, this is Team Movement right here, and that's that's pretty much great nature. Yeah. Kill them with knowledge. Team Movement signing off.